All right, guys, doing a follow-up video here on the uh, 1959 David Bradley Suburban Reverse. All right, um, the, the information I gave you in the last video was only half of the information that you needed to know. All right, I was fortunate enough to um, get some information from uh, the owner of Suburban, the DB Suburban Group on Yahoo, Jeff. Um, he was uh, kind enough to give me the rest of the, uh, the puzzle here. And so I'm going to do a follow-up video here and show you... Um, the uh, underneath adjustment that I had left out, okay? I was correct that this rod here is the only adjustment, okay? The rod, which turns into a cable, is the only adjustment, right? This front nut here is just to adjust your clutch, okay? And uh, so forget about that. And I'm also told there is no internal parts to be concerned about. It's all right here, okay? So um, you run this nut up all the way is what I'm told. Okay, so uh, to leave, uh, make the slack. Uh, I'm going to go underneath the tractor and I'll do this the best I can. Bear with me, guys. I hope this comes out. Got a spotlight under here. Okay, we got a couple of things here. Okay, um, see the cable right here? It runs through this nut here. It's like a carriage bolt. Okay, you got a nut on the other side. You loosen that nut up, okay, you can pull the cable through. So you pull your cable through, make it as tight as you can make it, okay, and uh, and then on that rod up the top, you, you run the bottom nut up for the final adjustment to keep it there, all right. Obviously, uh, probably every track is going to be a little different, and um, so I got quite a bit of cable sticking out here, actually. Uh, so every track is going to be a little bit different, but that's the adjustment that I left out right there, that carriage bolt that I got my finger on, okay. You want to loosen the nut on the back. And you can pull the cable through, right? The cable goes through that nut. Okay, it's like a clamp nut, all right? And so um, that's your adjustment, and you tighten the nuts up on top on the rod. Okay, and one last thing over here, you will see the cable goes through to a wheel here, a pulley. That pulley should be greased up, okay? It should be greased up so it does not get hung up and make sure your cable doesn't jump off of that wheel jumps off of that wheel obviously you're screwed okay so make sure you got that guide on that pulley and uh, make sure you get that that a little uh, shot of grease on that wheel keep it lubricated all right so that's the follow-up on this hope you guys can see all of this follow it and uh, I'm just going to wrap it up by really slowly showing you, again, the belt layout. Because one of the fellows were asking me about the belt layout. I'm just going to pan the belt layout very slowly. Okay, so you can see it. Alright, just want to show you guys how the belts go. Okay, I know a lot of you guys have the manuals, the PDF files, but... As I've said in the past, sometimes PDF files can be a little complicated, and I believe videos, close-ups like this uh, can be a little more helpful. I know I find them helpful. All right, guys. Hope this information helped you out, and uh, you can finish up that adjustment on that reverse and uh, get your DB rolling. Thanks for watching. Book them, Daniel.